hello and welcome to my channel and today's video. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining and if you're an OG, freaking love you. Today's video, as you know from the title, is going to be all about this beautiful little new item that was just released by Tatcha. This is their new setting powder. So if you'd like to see how to apply it, if you would like to see how it looks on the skin, and if you'd like to know some information and know how I feel about it, and if you should spend your hard earned money on it, then please keep on. So I'm super excited for today's video because I finally get to try out the Tatcha Silk Powder. This is a new product by Tatcha. It is a setting powder and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be unboxing it with you. I haven't even like seen what the inside looks like and trying it on with you. So what I'm gonna do is try this on my face and then we can kind of discuss like what is in here, what the benefits are, and then um, I will tell you if I like it or not. I am opening up the box for the first time right now. So the inside actually is true to what I thought it would be. Um, it's a purple cap. The bottom is like a nice, almost like baby pink, which is really interesting. Usually their products are like purple or white. So this is a cool little packaging. Um, as you can see, it still has the seal. I have not even undone that. I'm opening it up. So there's a little like rubber piece here that I'm gonna detach. And, um, okay. So once I detach that, there's a little ring around here where the powder comes out, which is why the rubber was placed in here. You just tap it like this, the product kind of comes out from the sides. I'm gonna just flip it upside down and kind of shake it. It's usually how I get most of my powders. Oh wow, so much came out. The coloration of this powder reminds me of the Laura Mercier Transition Powder, which was like the powder that everyone's mother and daughter and granddaughter and niece and nephew used. It doesn't have any smell, which I really enjoy. As you can see, I have my makeup done, right? I have my contour on, I have my bronzers and highlighters on and all of that jazz. So I did all my makeup without setting my face because most of the time, the only areas that are really set is under the eyes, my forehead, and like my chin and cheek area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a beauty blender and like blend under my eyeball so that I make sure that I don't have any creasing here. And I'm gonna dip my sponge into that and I'm gonna dab this underneath my eyes. I'm not really baking, but it's gonna look like I'm baking. And then I'm gonna dab some right here and some, I'm gonna kinda go back and I'm gonna put some in these areas. It is a very finely milled product. Very smooth on the skin. Taking a little bit on my finger just to feel the formula. Oh my God, it is like so silky. Wow. And it literally just disappeared into my fingers. I don't wanna bake, so what I'm gonna do is gonna take a brush like this, it's like a little buffer brush, and I'm just gonna dust this off and I'm gonna look at my skin really up close and see what it left. I feel like these areas look really nice and blurred. I grabbed a little bit of setting spray. It's just like a glow mist by Pixie. And I sprayed it on the back of my sponge and I'm just gonna pat this all over my face. This is what I would naturally do to kind of push everything in and make it look more natural. It just looks really nice and like nothing is even there, but it looks a little more alive. Like the underneath of my eyes, usually where that's the most texture happens, um, look really nice and like natural and almost glowy, which is really, really cool. Um, it didn't like sink into anything in here. There's no like dry spots. So I really, really do like that. I like that it doesn't have a smell and I'm just gonna put the rest of that powder from the cap inside the little thingy and I'm going to kind of put this away and read some things about it. So this is a protective setting powder. Um, it's a talc-free translucent setting powder that shields blue light and pollution while blurring pores and helping makeup last longer. I do feel like my face just looks so much smoother than it usually does. What does this powder do? How is it different than anything else on the market? So the silk extract minimizes dryness while silk powder helps makeup last longer and blurs the look of pores and wrinkles. The blue light and anti-injured pollution ingredients shield blue light and pollution which may cause wrinkles and dark spots. So 
I really like that this will help shield me kind of like my um, sunscreen will. So having the two of them I think is really, really awesome. And then Japanese Pearl Powder in parts, a healthy looking radiant finish. Another thing that this is really cool about the product is the fact that it's non-comatogenic, non-irritating, non-sensitizing, and is dermatology tested. And it's formulated without talc, mineral oil, synthetic fragrances, sulfate detergents, parabens, DEA, TEA, or phthalate. This does retail for $48 and you do get 20 grams of product and it's good for six months. Honestly, this is a pretty interesting and different type of translucent powder. It's not just a powder, it's offering me blue light shields and it's blurring my pores and it's making my skin have this like radiant finish and I am all about all of those things. If I can have all of my makeup act as also skincare, um, I am all about it. So all in all, I love Tatcha. This is a bomb ass product. I will insert a little update of what this looks like at the end of the day, but right now, so far, 10 out of 10, chef's kiss. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna still look good 10 hours later. So I would absolutely recommend this, especially if you are in for a good translucent powder that will last you a while and that will do you good. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.